You like to create a pencil drawing overlay to your iMovie or Final Cut videos with your iPad? I'll show you how to do this with an alpha channel so you don't have to mess around with green screens or additive blend modes. I find it's helpful to export a frame of the video that you're drawing over to use as a guide. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You can skip this if you like. After selecting Share and Save Current Frame, It'll pop up a uh, dialog box that'll let you save it where you want to. Uh, put it any place that's uh, convenient to you. And then uh, do a share and airdrop to your iPad. After the airdrop finishes sending, click on Done to dismiss the dialog box. Okay, now we're going to shift over to my iPad here. And we're going to bring up... Keynote. In Keynote, we are going to um, start uh, a new presentation here and do the little plus there, create a presentation, choose a theme. We're just going to use black and we're going to get rid of the title, get rid of the subtitle, and then we're going to bring in that uh, frame grab that we took from our video to uh, provide a reference for where we can put our text. So there it is. Keynote puts it up there uh, full screen. So we're all set to go. And uh, now what you want to do is, uh, is you want to add a drawing, one of these squiggly little guys right here. So now we're recording. We're going to use the crayon. We're going to do full width in red. So maybe we're going to uh, point out this waterfall that was uh, absolutely fantastic. And then maybe uh, maybe we'll say something about uh, note the haze. Okay. So now we're done adding our drawing there. So what we can do is we can touch our photo and then get rid of that. So now we don't have our, <clears throat> our guide photo there anymore. And then go into Format, Background, No Fill. And this is key right here. By doing the Background No Fill, that'll create an alpha channel here. Uh, that'll make the background perfectly transparent in iMovie. So we're going to do select objects and select this guy too. So now we've got those two selected. Uh, actually, we'll just do a select all and then we're going to do a done. And now we're going to merge those together into one big drawing. And now when we touch that, we can animate. And we're going to add a build in, line draw. And there's the first drawing. And then the second drawing. OK. So now we can select a little bit longer duration. Our clip is about 13 seconds, so I'm going to make it about 13 seconds. I want to ease in and out, that's good. And I want to start it um, after the transition to this uh, particular guy here, after the transition to this slide. So now I think we're all set here. We can just uh, click that and uh, click Done. And now let's go ahead and export. And we will export and send. Movie format. Resolution 1080p, that's good. Frame, frame rate 30 frames, HEVC. Transparent backgrounds, and that's key for our alpha channel. So let's go ahead and export. So it is doing that animation. And now we're going to um, save the video. 
and that will go right into our shared pictures folder. You could share it to the uh, file and that you can put it on the desktop or something like that, whatever you want to do to get it back to your Mac. Or uh, if you put it into the, the photos on, um, on your iPad, then you can easily access them from iMovie on your iPad. So now let's go off to the Mac and add this to our presentation. I have iMovie over here with my clip on the timeline. And over here I have the Photos app. And uh, this is our presentation that we made, our little, uh, our little hand drawing there that animates nicely with a transparent background. So there we have it. So we can just drag and drop this from the Photos app right onto the timeline. The question marks came up there for a couple seconds because uh, it wasn't fully downloaded from iCloud. But now you can see we have this really nice animation here that draws on our video clip. We can do this as a cutaway right now, or we could actually change this to a picture-in-picture, picture, which you, you can't do this with a green screen. But when you have these alpha channel transparent background video files created with Keynote, you can move these around. Uh, obviously, they're, they're not going to line up anymore, but uh, maybe I've decided that I want it a little bit smaller and uh, I want this over here. So now this allows me to move my animation around on my, uh, over my main video clip so that when it plays back, it maybe uh, I can position it a little bit better, or uh, maybe I'm doing something where I want to point out something on the screen. So uh, anyway, there we go.